Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning into my brand new YouTube channel. I'm so excited. My name is Michelle Wong. I am a hand knitwear designer and this is the very first episode. Um, so welcome. I'm so happy you decided to spend a few minutes with me. Um, I want to just give a quick intro before we get into the haul portion of this video. A quick intro about why I started this channel um, and a little bit about who I am. Um, my name is Michelle Wong. Um, again, I'm a hand knitwear designer and um, I do a lot of work for um, Brooklyn Tweed and some other yarn companies. I've also been um, published in Vogue Knitting and Interweave Knits and, um, oh, actually not yet. That's a surprise. Um, Knitwear, um, Amirisu, and Pom Pom, some of my absolute favorite um, publications. Um, but the reason why I started this channel is some of you may or may not know that I used to own a yarn store called Gage Intention in the Greenpoint section of Brooklyn. And I just closed this past March, which was kind of heartbreaking, um, but I ended on a high note, so that was really, really great but I just needed my, I needed my weekends back. So I started out as a pop-up in the fall winter season of 2014 um, and then opened um, permanently inside the Brooklyn Craft Company, but only on the weekends. So um, it was just, it was a lot of fun and I really missed meeting um, new people on the weekends and kind of just talking to other yarn lovers about yarn. I mean, it was actually like amazing. So um, this is sort of filling that void for me. I wish it was a little bit more interactive, but um, I figured this was a great way for me to sort of talk about things that I love and maybe share that love a bit and introduce you to new um, yarns or other things in the new knitting community um, that you may or may not have come across. So um, that's sort of the purpose for this channel, but we can try and make it as interactive as possible. There is a comment section below, so please feel free to comment, ask questions, um, suggest video content for things that you may want to see. Um, I had kind of have like a big lineup of videos to come. So if you would like, please subscribe. And um, I think the subscribe button is down below as well. Maybe, maybe on this side. I don't know yet. Um, and you'll be notified of when new videos come up. So um, I'm really excited. Um, Thank you so much for tuning in and um, stick around if you want to watch the Maryland Sheep and Wool Not House haul. Um, okay, so Allison and I went down to uh, Maryland the first weekend in May. Is that right? Mm -hmm. We went down for the uh, Maryland Sheep and Wool Festival. Um, and this is the second year that we've done this. Last year, we went, we were stalking Instagram, and we saw all of these amazing pictures of like gorgeous yarns and beautiful fiber, all this like stuff, and um, we couldn't find it at the fair. We, we were, were like, where? Totally confused. Where, where is everybody getting this amazing stuff? We got like, like fangry, we got like fiber yeah. angry. And we were also just fueled on like, a dog bucket of french fries so that was also part of it that yeah yeah so anyway we realized too late that the knot house which <clears throat> is a lovely yarn store in frederick maryland it's beautiful it's beautiful mm -hmm. it's in a row house i mean it's you can't you can't think of a better setting for a yarn store also everyone is throwing shade about frederick but it's so cute really yeah Oh, I didn't know. I just had never even heard of Frederick. Yeah, people were like, why would you go to Frederick? And I was like, it's so cute. It's gorgeous. Yeah. It's, um, it seems very it. historical. Mm -hmm. um, row houses, I just think it's beautiful. It's gorgeous, yeah, it's... very quaint, very charming. Um, we recommend it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Stamp, stamp of approval. Um, so we decided this year, come hell or <laughs> high water, we were going to the Knot House. Mm -hmm. We were gonna make it over there. So uh, we drove down Friday. The festival is uh, Saturday and Sunday, the first Saturday and Sunday in May. We drove down Friday night, and we were planning on hitting the Knot House Friday night, which was the first night they were um, going to have this indie hand dyer pop-up trunk show situation at their store. And we thought it was only Friday night. 
Mm -hmm. um, but we actually got into town a little bit later than we anticipated. The weather sucked. City traffic. City traffic, rush hour, it was terrible. Um, so uh, we looked up the information and realized that it was um, the entire weekend. So we decided, let's just rest tonight and go first thing Saturday morning. So that's what we did. Yeah. And it was such a good call because it was a beautiful day on Saturday, as it usually is after a major rainstorm. Well, also Friday night, I got to do jamberry nails, and oh. you gave me a face mask to do. So it was <laughs> we a were prepared. amazing night. We were prepared in the hotel room. Yeah, Best Western. <laughs> yes. Best Western, Catonsville. Mm -hmm. Shout out. Anyway, worth it. Worth it. So. Um, so let's get into our haul. So we're going to start with what we got at the Knot House. Um, should I start? Yeah. Okay, I'll start. So I actually didn't get anything for myself. I was really, um, I had my mind on a good friend of mine who um, is not feeling well. Um, she's better now. But I wanted to get her some gifts because she couldn't make it down. And since the Knot House had yarns that you can't normally get, um, anywhere else, I thought, uh, you know, you can get it online, but it's hard to find in stores. I thought I would get her a few goodies um, from the Nut House. So I was focused on her. Um, so the first one I got is from Northbound Knitting. It's the um, Superwash Merino Fingering, 100% Superwash Merino. Um, it's 400 yards and 100 grams. And this colorway is Metallurgy. Um, and hopefully that focuses. But it's a beautiful sort of gray, bronzy, variegated That's sock yarn. Pretty. It's really, it's super pretty. Is it almost like a little, no it's gray. I thought it might be a little lavender, but. It's a cool gray. It's a there cool gray matched with a pretty warm um, bronzy color. So it's a nice sort of mix. Um, so I got her that. Um, and Northbound Knitting, if you're unaware, is a Canadian um, hand dyer. I forget her name. Lisa. I told I'm, I'm gonna completely fuck it up. So, Canadian <laughs> Northbound Knitting. I believe she has an Etsy shop. Um, I can discreetly have my iPhone down here and search we things. Can, we can look. No, okay. we won't know. No. But I just told everybody, so that doesn't okay. work now. Sorry. It's um. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually I have found out about them because they have, or I should say, she has an amazing Instagram feed and beautiful designs and beautiful yarns and beautiful colorways. So <coughs> you should follow her. Um, very inspirational um, and really, really um, gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. So that was one skein. And then I picked up some black trillium fibers um, sock yarn. This is um, the Lilt sock base. It's 8515 Superwash Merino Mulberry Silk. So it has Oops. a really nice, like a little bit of a sheen, a really nice hand. Um, for 100 grams, you get 405 yards. Um, this particular colorway is Hedwig, and it is like an off-white base, and it just has speckles of black and sort of that same kind of color situation um, as uh, Metallurgy. So it has like the blacks and the browns and stuff. Um, really, really beautiful. And Black Trillium Fibers is um, a hand dyer from Portland, Oregon. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, I also feel like there's not, well, I haven't worked with a lot of merino silk sock yarn, have you? Not a lot. Not just, I don't see that base a lot, so. I, I don't either. I think it's, um, it's a fairly luxurious um, mm -hmm. fiber, so I think people right. are you know, wary of spending that much money on, <clears throat> on something that's gonna go on their feet. But um, I think there's also maybe a misconception about the silk versus the nylon. Um, I think people think that sock yarn should have nylon in it, but um, silk is incredibly strong. It's an incredibly strong fiber. Um, and the, the next skein of yarn I got is from Skeiny Dipping. Um, this is Christine Link's um, yarn company. She is a wonderful, wonderful hand dyer. If you um, don't know this about me, um, I am a huge, huge fan of Christine's work. Um, she does really lovely, lovely, um, deep, rich yarn colors. Um, this being a great example, it's called Space Pants. She has the best names too. Um, Space Pants, and it is, uh, was one of the 
exclusive colorways um, to uh, the Knot House for that weekend. I think she'll probably release it um, again, but for now, I think that was the only place that you could get it. So it's it's really beautiful, mm -hmm. and I don't know if the camera can show um, the sort of depth of color in here, but it reminds me of that oil slick hair trend that's going on. Have you seen that? Oh. Um, no. Yeah, there's like, a, you can get your hair dyed so that it kind of looks like that like deep purple to turquoise, like oil nice. slick. Um, nice. And actually a good friend of mine, um, Megan, um, got it done. And it just, it reminds me of this yarn color. So maybe not, maybe not the reds. But anyway. Um, I've also seen that like the opal. So um, on like a blonde or white on base. A yeah. yeah, on a me. On a you. So I'm, I'm like a black oil and you're yeah. <laughs> Um So this is her Merino single um, sock base. It's a single um, kind of fingering weight. Sorry, did I say sock base? It's a Merino single fingering weight. Um, 475 yards, 100% uh, superwash Merino. So that's the last skein of yarn that I got. Lastly, I picked up this Tolt um, book. For her, it's just a really gorgeous um, soft cover book. Um, it has like an embossed sheet on top, which is what caught my eye. And um, there's, yeah, it's really, it's just a lovely, um, lovely book. It's on like really um, thick cardstock. Um, there's um, gorgeous pictures inside, and um, there's six patterns included, and it also kind of profiles. Um, some people in the industry, some people or companies in the industry like Green Mountain Spinnery and Imperial Stock Ranch, um, uh, Twirl, uh, Yarn on the House, etc., etc. So if you come across this ever, or you can order it, I believe, on the Tolt Yarn and Wool site, I highly recommend it. It's really just, it's a lovely sort of coffee table um, book with some really beautiful patterns inside. So that's all I got. What'd you get? I was really good. I, you know what? She was really good all weekend. Like really, really good. And I don't blame her because we all have a lot of we all have a lot of yarn. So much, so much yarn. <clears throat> um, yeah. So um, I actually already have a skein of this in my stash, but I decided I needed another one, and I didn't care if it was close to the dye that I had um, because I'm obsessed with it. I already actually have a cow, um, a shawl uh, that I wear that's worsted weight um, in this color, but I needed a lighter shawl. Um, so this is, I feel like this is the color of my soul also. Mm -hmm. So that's why. Um, it is also skinny dipping. Uh, it's so good. Look it's so good. At Christine, it. you know how much we love this color. Yeah, so good. totally obsessed. Um, and also, I have to say, I get a joy out of telling people that it's called Wacky Tabacky because it's an amazing name. We usually get a giggle. We yeah. get a giggle Very out good. of people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I apologize. My voice is, I'm recovering from sickness too, so I'm a little froggy. But yeah, this is uh, giving me so much life right now. So good. Yeah, so that was that's really the end of my. But it was really fun, and she made me feel like a hoarder. <laughs> now I'm giving all this away. But we saw the um, the yarn on the house ladies. Yes. And the magpie ladies. Yes. And saw them before their tour that they're going on, and that's that was right. really fun. Yeah. So you should check out their website to see um, where they're going because they have like an exclusive kit, which is really adorable yeah yeah um so yeah. yeah so they're actually as we film this they are um here in brooklyn oh are they this yeah. weekend yeah okay. i'm gonna go see them tomorrow oh okay um you should come <laughs> <laughs> too so tomorrow actually damie who is the um, hand dyer behind magpie fibers she's actually teaching a class i don't know what it is but she's teaching a class at brooklyn general by the time i post this up on youtube i think it'll be too late 
But anyway, um, they are touring. You can check out the Magpie Fiber site or the, the Yoth, Yarn on the House um, site for details on you know where they're stopping or whatever. <clears throat> They've already been through the south and now um, they're going to be in the northeast. I think they're going to end up somewhere. Are they going to end up at Squam? I, yeah, I think they're going to end up um, at Squam. Yeah. I think they're just hanging out. I don't lucky think they're going to be lucky, lucky. We ladies. need to do that next. We do. You know how I feel about outdoors. Rustic. <laughs> rustic living. <laughs> it's not my thing. It's not I my thing. I think it's supposed to be nice. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss offline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay, so then, um, so we went to Not House Saturday morning, um, spent a lot of time there. We were really wowed great. by it. Um, met the owner and her daughter yeah. and uh, a few people that work there, and they are so lovely. Um, so if you're ever, if you're anywhere near Frederick, Maryland, go, yeah, go. They had like duct up wall, they had spin cycle, the northbound, the skinny dipping, the yacht, they had, um, spun right round. Mm -hmm. Hi yes. Renee, love spun right round. Yes. Um, <laughs> but your cordial base wasn't there, so. So we headed off to, um, back towards Baltimore to West Friendship. Um, for the Sheep and Wolf Festival. So we ended up, I think we both just got fiber, right? Yeah, actually, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. It, it feels right because. It does feel right. And it's hard to find fiber in New York City. It's extremely difficult. It's really, really yeah. hard. Just to, like a smattering here and there. And yeah, it like, might only maybe. be Malabrigo, like the new bay or new. Say. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Um, so not much. So not much. Um, and we're both spinners. And we're spinners. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. So we kind of beelined it to Hobble de Hoy. Yeah. Um, we, were, we were excited to see what they had. Like, like a stampede. We were like a two person stampede towards Hobble de Hoy. Fire! So I got um, two. Um, of her bath, they're the same color, so I, I like to show one. Um, but I just really, really loved this color. Um, it's like a, let me show this side actually. It's, uh, it has grays, it has uh, yellows and oranges and all, like a salmon, peachy pink. It's just a really cool color. It's called nutmeg, which I thought was perfect. Um, it is composed of organic Polworth, bamboo, silk, and gold sparkle, and it's five ounces, so a nice hefty, hefty nice. fiber baby. Mm -hmm. uh, so I got two of those. I don't know, what am I going to do with ten ounces? That's like the most bizarre quantity. Anything you want. Anything. Let your dreams come true. Let my dreams come true. <laughs> Let them <laughs> So I got those two there, and then I got some little batteries. Um... These are kind of unusual colors for me, I have to say. Mm -hmm. They're not very me, um, but I got it basically because the name of it is, I don't know if you can see, Hogwarts Batlings. I was, I was like, are there more? I need them all. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I thought these were really cool. They're just little Batlings. And it's, again, Polworth, Bamboo, oh, Soy Silk, and Sparkle. And there's two ounces in here. It's a nice blend. It's a nice blend. <laughs> when it is, and we like a nice blend. We like we like a nice blend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should I keep going? Do you want to talk about your um, hobbledy hoy? Oh, I'll talk about my hobbledy hoy. Is it right here? Oh, okay. Um, I, I, have, have, I have I have I have fiber envy. I should have gotten one of these. Well, she saw it in the light. Not in the light. Because it was kind of overcast when we were. It got really hot. Um, it got really hot. Like for an hour when we were watching the dogs. Oh, yeah. At the end of the day. That was amazing. God, the sheep know. herding dogs. Um, that was so cute. Yeah. So this is the bat I got. You can tell. I've only showed you two things, but the, this, these are my colors. So like ochre, grello, mustard. It has everything in it, actually. All of the good 
green and yellow colors. Um, and like, you know, fuchsia, purple, light pink. And this is called the Flowering Dogwood Bat. It is also Polworth Silk Soy Silk and Gold Sparkle. And it's 4.5 ounces. Mm -hmm. Very generous. Mm -hmm. Thank A you. good fiber baby size. And can I just say, she adds like the perfect amount of gold sparkle. It's not too much. Yes. It's just enough that you see it a little bit here and there. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's not too overdone. It's just a little, little shimmy shimmy. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's great. It's like the, um, the highlighter it's of the, like the bat world. It's like the highlighter of the fiber bat world. Michelle yeah. just introduced me to highlighter yes. for the first time today and my world has changed. Yes. Just wanted you guys to know. I feel like a unicorn. <laughs> um, I have I got these firefly batlings, which are also very similar to my Hogwarts. I feel very, like it's more purple. It's a, a little bit more like there's a le like a more neon green in it. Mm -hmm. Yours has some lighter shades too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Polworth bamboo milk silk and sparkle. Very exciting, two ounces of that. And um, and then I have no idea what, what this will become, but I had to buy it because... I feel like that just doesn't even need to be spun up. It, it just but. has to, it just has to stay like this. What? Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Just savor in the rainbow glory. Rainbows and clouds. Yeah, yeah. amazing. Um, oh my god, it's called Tomorrow's Rainbows. What? So much hope. <laughs> so many dreams. So many promises. <laughs> um, so, Polworth Bamboo Soy Silk and Sparkle. And it's two ounces. I was thinking maybe it'd be cute for like, if there was a... <clears throat> I don't know if there's enough. I might have to get another one somehow. But for a shawl that has like, a, a, maybe... Um, well, an edge and an edging, an edging. Okay. yeah, and to use the rainbow at, um, for the edge and then the clouds could be, we'll see, you Aww. know, or it could just be like this because it's amazing like that too. Or you could find one of those short row shawls and do this as the shawl and these as the like little short row stripes. It'll be like little rainbows on the, on a sky. Right. <laughs> yes. Uh. So much. So much dreaming. So many options. So many options. Tomorrow's rainbows. Okay. So that was what I came away with at all the day of the So then I the think time. I think all <clears throat> we all the only other place we spent our money's at is Into the World. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because we love them too. We love them. So Into the World, um, Chris and James. Uh, Chris is the hand dyer and her husband James um, helps out. He's they're both amazing. They're just lovely and friendly and um, Chris is so meticulous um, about her colors and like how she lays them out and you can see it in in their work um, and they're up the Hudson they mm -hmm. um, they live probably like an hour and a half north of uh, the city and they're just they're wonderful so anyway we want to give them our business so this is one of their newer colorways I had not seen this before I got another bat and it is 85 Polworth, 15 Tussa Silk. And the colorway is called Mud Bogs and Moonshine. Is that your favorite base, Polworth Silk? No. You like spinning that, though. I do. Oh. I do. It's a good one. Yeah. It's a good one. I think my favorite base is Yak Merino. Oh. 50-50. Okay. Yak Merino. 100% Yak is like a little too... Oh, it's too short. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little too fussy. Same with Merino. It can be just too... I don't know. Who, who makes the Yak Merino that you just want? Oh. Into the World does. Into the World does. Here we are. <laughs> um, so, same colorway. The mud box and moonshine. I feel like the... There we go. It's not quite it's as glary. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it's a gray. It has a... Like a mustardy... A swamp... Like swampy colors in there. 
Um, and this is 50-50 Yak Merino 4-ounce braid. And then I got another 4-ounce um, braid, and this is just 100% 100 full worth. And yeah. isn't this great? This colorway is called Vampires of Venice. And um, a good friend, Catherine, who now lives in Arizona, hi Catherine, she turned me on to this colorway. So um, I love it. It's just, it's really, really, it's really beautiful. Uh, and the reason why we keep looking down is because our viewfinder is down here. So ignore this. <laughs> this is, okay. Uh, we just want to make sure we're still in focus. So that's it. That's all I got that's there. It. Yeah. What did you get? I got. I, I actually had to put this back together because I had started oh. spinning it. Oh. So it doesn't look as pretty. It is. But why did you why did you put it back together for this? Yeah. Oh. Oh. You didn't have to do that. You could have even brought it. I wanted that, to so. show it. It's so nice. So this is also an Into the World bat. Um, it's a Falkland Cardi bat. I'm enjoying spinning it so much. I've never spun Falkland. Um, I have a Maja Craft Susie, just in case you're curious. Um, amazing. And um, yeah, so I can try to pull this out a little bit so you can see. Um, the color is 221B. I'm not sure of the significance of that, but maybe you can find out. So yeah, it looks, I rolled it back up, but essentially I've spun some of the purple already. <clears throat> so yeah, it's wonderful. I love it. I was really excited to try a new base that I hadn't tried before. And that's awesome. It's lovely. Very soft. Oh, gorgeous. Well, I did buy, I did buy um, two other uh, things, um, not fiber or yarn, but um, I've started kind of a bad habit of if there is a wool buddy booth um, where I'm at, I need to get a little to get a little something. So um, he, Jackie, who is the proprietor of Wool Buddy, um, had a little pug. Look how cute he is. So cute. Cute. So, cute. Um, so I got a little pug and then I got <laughs> this gigantic bee. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? And he's got yeah. like his butts like a bullseye. <laughs> so anyway. I love him. I love him. We got sheep last year. Little sheep guys. We've got little sheep guys. Mine is in my car. Where's yours? Um, I have to. Uh, mine is at home. All right. So that's all we got. Yeah. Um, it was really fun. It was a lot of fun. It was yeah. a lot of fun. It's sort of become a tradition. So I'm sure we'll yeah. be going back next year. If you guys have never been and are able to go, we recommend it. Like there's a lull mm -hmm. generally. Um, during this time of the year where there just isn't a lot of fibery stuff going on, unlike the fall. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a really great time and even if you can't make it to the Sheep and Wool Festival, really try and make it out to the Knot House for mm -hmm. the, the pop-up trunk shows that they have going on that same weekend. I hope they do that more often. I feel like I would drive down just for that and hang out in Frederick. Leave any comments below. Please subscribe to the channel if you want um, to be notified when a new video comes up. Um, I hope to have Allison on regularly. I would love to be on. It would be awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Your hair looks so pretty. I would end up doing. <laughs> <laughs> Made. Let's just do that. I'm watching you.